Hey y'all, so it's me Alexandria and today I am back with a new video. Okay, so today is going to be one of my favorite videos to film and that is going to be a wig video. So I have a new wig ready for you guys and I wanted to show you this time how I kind of fix up the hairline and make the wig look a little bit more natural. Basically kind of like how to slay a wig that maybe didn't come slayed out the package. Um, recently I have just been getting into wigs and I have been loving it like I've been saying in my previous wig videos like wigs are just like the, my favorite protective style right now and it's just like I, I could take it off at night like it's just I just love wigs but not every wig comes like straight out the box slate I know that it's 2020 and all these wig companies are like promoting themselves to have these natural hairlines these bleach knots like everything just already so you could just throw it on your head but sometimes that's just not the case. Sometimes you get a wig that just needs a little bit of more work. You know, it's 2020, we trying to be out here talking about some like what lace, you know what I mean? Like, so the wig here that I will be working with is this wig from Wig Dealer. Um, this is, I have washed and um, let it air dry. That's why it's all poofy and stuff. Um, I have not altered this wig in any way like, as far as the hairline. Like I said, I've just washed it and just let it air dry. It's the Wig Dealer, one of their really old beginner wigs. So it has like a significantly less amount of parting space but it is their cambodian straight 20 inch this is really long for 20 inches this is the longest 20 inch wig i've ever had in my life um but it is their cambodian straight um wig it's they're supposed to be saying that their stuff comes pre-plucked but when i looked at the hairline it wasn't pre-plucked to my liking it's still too full for my liking um so i am going so i felt, figured this is the perfect wig to just go in and show you guys how i customize it so that you guys can see how to customize your wig in case it doesn't come pre-plugged okay so this is what the wig looked like before i plucked it i didn't really show you guys it so i want to take some pictures so you guys know what the wig looked like before i altered it so you guys can see the after so the first thing i'm doing is basically what you saw in that picture was just making the part um, I had the part already, but I really wanted to just perfect it to make sure that it was exactly what I wanted because once I set this part, I kind of keep it set like that. I don't repart it every day. So I wanted to make sure I have the perfect part. When I part it, especially if I'm doing a side part like I'm doing here, I really try to do like a little C curve. Um, I don't know. I just like to do that and it uses more of the lace because this lace here is a little limited. So I felt like if I curved it, I got a little bit more parting action. So I am spraying it with water just so that it lays flatter because as you guys can see it's pretty poofy so spraying it allows me to like tame it correctly and really control where I want the hair to go so now that I have that part set up what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to start with this one side here and I'm basically parting off the baby hairs the part that's already plucked that first like centimeter is already plucked but I really wanted it to be plucked more backwards so I um, section off the baby hairs and I start plucking behind the baby hairs I don't have a specific method on how I pluck I just kind of pluck like as you guys can see I'm just plucking 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 until I feel like enough hair is removed and after I pluck I also brush it back as you guys can see here just so that I can actually remove the hair so that I can actually see what's been plucked because when you pluck it it kind of still stays in the hair until you brush it out so I'm just brushing it out every few minutes and then parting it and I just keep parting it back and back and back and then just plucking and just going at it I just be going at it I don't have a specific method I just part and pluck 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 until I like the result and so I'm just brushing it out here and then I'm just going to continue plucking and so this is what I this is the finished product of that side I wet it so you can kind of see you can see it better when it's wet versus when it's dry so I just wet it a little bit so you guys can see what I'm plucking um, I look at that and I'm like do I like it and then I'll probably go back in and I usually pluck it in again I try to pluck closer to the part as you guys can see like the top part is plucked a little bit more than the bottom just because on my hairline that's the part that's thinner so I just pluck that side kind of and then so now I'm gonna go in and pluck the part this is important because um, I don't know this wig was just the part was just not as apparent even though it looks apparent on this mannequin when I put it on my head the part wasn't as apparent so I just go in and I just pluck the parting so that it's a little bit wider so that it looks more apparent on my head so now I'm going to pluck the other side and I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the other side I'm just going to part off the baby hairs and then I just start plucking and then I brush it back just kind of see what I'm doing and then I keep plucking again as you guys can see I'm kind of plucking in a triangle like a triangle angle from the part as I'm not parting in a straight line I'm parting in an angle just because that's the way when I do my hair I kind of brushed it backwards like that 
I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to part at that area closer to the parting area so that it looks a little bit more natural because that area was just really dense and just unnatural looking. So I'm just going to keep doing that spraying with water because like I said, you can see what you're doing better when it's wet versus when it's dry. And I just go in and I just pluck. Like if it still looks thick to me, I just pluck, 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 brush it back, spray with water, pluck, pluck, pluck. So now I've done enough plucking and I'm just going to go in and actually style the hair with some mousse. I like to use mousse because it doesn't build up as easy. Um, or like as using gel and anything. So I'm just gonna style the baby hairs and I slick my hair back in an angle as you guys can see here. I am actually gonna style it on my head. So like if you don't understand what I'm doing now, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it when I actually style it on my head. I'm just doing it on this mannequin so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Basically, as you guys can see, I'm just using a little toothbrush and just pulling it backwards. And now you guys see why I plucked it in the direction that I did because I kind of brush both of my hair back in an angle if that makes sense and then i just kind of fold it over tie it up and this is the finished result as you guys can see what i'm gonna do i am and now i'm gonna go cut the lace i do i don't know why i do this before i cut the lace i just i don't know so i'm just gonna cut the lace and then i'm gonna actually show you guys how i actually like part it on my head so when I cut the lace, I try to cut as close to the hairline as possible. I really don't like to leave any extra lace. Like I part as close to the hair as possible without cutting it off. The next step is a knot. So I don't bleach my knots just because I don't like to deal with chemicals. So I have this wig dealer. This is their lace tinting spray. This is gonna tint the lace to your skin tone. I believe this is in the honey or chestnut color. I'll put it in the video, um, but it's either the honey or the chestnut color. Um, spray it basically tints the lace and kind of lightly bleaches the knots um, or hides the knots I find that I still have to go in with powder a little bit but this spray is more used to help the lace like blend into your skin tone and then I'll just go in with powder for the knots and then after you spray the spray you're supposed to like let like use your blow dryer so that it can actually like dry into the lace and then the more you spray it the darker the lace will become so if you spray it and it's still not as dark as you want it, then you could just keep spraying it. So now the wig is on my head and I'm gonna show you guys how I actually style it. So what I'm doing here guys, is I'm, I'm taking out the baby hairs and then I'm just kind of using, I'm actually using the black got to be gel and I am doing my edges basically. So as you guys can see, I am brushing my hair back in an angle. Like I'm brushing it back as if I was going to slick my hair back, but I'm only brushing that first inch back. So that's all I do. I just take the, edge control and I just brush it back all the way just all the way back just like that style the baby hairs and then I let it sit for like five minutes and I take it out and now that it's brushed back I can kind of loop it back forward so it gets that little hump in the front and that's it that's literally it I just brush my edges back tie it down and then I take the hair and brush it over so that it kind of gives me that little like hump effect that's how I like it especially if I do a side part that's how I like my side parts to be I also forgot to mention that I usually will use the black got to be gel on my sideburns just to lay them down so they blend with my hair I don't know why I didn't do that today so if you see my sideburns and they don't match that's why but normally I do do my sideburns I just put some got to be gel on there and then I spray the free spray and so that it's like more straighter and it blends in with my wig but I didn't do that today I don't know why so now I'm just gonna go into my part and just hide the knots a little bit more with um, basically I used eyeshadow because it just matched I use a really light eyeshadow because my lace was really dark so I feel like mixing it together it kind of got that scalp color and I just do that to hide the knots and also to make the scalp more apparent and that's all I do as you guys can see my sideburns there that's what I was talking about usually I lay that down with some got to be and then the last step is just to take some mousse and just go over the top and just lay down the flyaways and make sure everything looks all smooth and that is all sorry if that was a little fast um i felt like it would be boring if i did it in slow motion but um that is all i do and i'm just gonna perfect everything make sure it's all good and that is all that is how i lay my hair pretty much 90 percent of the time especially when i'm doing a side part and that's how i just kind of customize my wig to my liking Okay, y'all, so this is the finished result. This is how I lay my wigs, usually from start to finish. Um, I pretty much follow the same routine every morning or every few mornings. Since I used this um, got to be gel, if you've used it before, you know that it kind of hardens. So I really don't have to actually do this every single day. I usually just have to touch up the like a baby hair part of it. Usually this part is already hardened out. 
um, but sometimes due to sweat and when I work out and stuff like that, um, sometimes the gel will loosen. So sometimes I do kind of have to touch it up a little bit. So if you just wanted like a little review on this hair, this is this hair is from Wig Dealer. This company called Wig Dealer. This is my second time purchasing a wig for, from them, um, and I, this is their beginner wig. This is one of their older wigs, so they don't have this exact wig on their website. Um, they have a wig very similar to this, but this is like one of their older wigs. Now their wigs are apparently supposed to be better quality and have more parting space. Um, so if you order it, you're going to get a, like a better quality wig than this. But um, from this one and the wig I've ordered before, like I said, I do have a review on an older wig from them that I bought in the past that I'll just link in the description. Um, but pretty much it's almost the same thing as the other video. If you've seen that video, it's pretty much the same thing. This one sheds a little bit more. It still doesn't shed like crazy, but if you watch my other one, you heard me say that it doesn't shed at all. This one sheds a lot more. Um, again, the quality, I can already still see some split ends already in it, and this is like my first week wearing it, so it's not like the best quality wig. It's still super thin, but I've kind of gotten used to it, so it doesn't bother me anymore. Like, this is all the hair pulled to the front. It's, as you can see, it's pretty thin, but um, I've gotten used to it. I guess it gives that more realistic vibe and stuff like that, but the hair is still super duper soft and everything, but yeah, so that is just a quick little review, but it's pretty much the same as same thoughts as i had in my other wig review um but that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed that and i will see you guys in my next video